continue reading the Holy Gospel according to St. John with explanation by Blessed by Philip. Glory to Father and Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Chapter 10, verses 10 through 13, continue reading explanation. Then the Lord foretells his crucifixion. I lay down my life for the sheep, emphasizing that he goes willingly to his passion. The verb I place, I lay down, indicates that no one takes his life from him. He himself lays it down deliberately. The previously mentioned insurrectionists, being hirelings, did not lay down their lives for a ship, but abandoned their followers. The Lord did not just the Lord did just the opposite. As he was being seized, he said, Is therefore ye seek me, let this go their way, that the saying might be fulfilled, which he spake of them which thou gavest me, have I lost none. Although none of his disciples were killed when they came with swords and staves to arrest him, the Jews sat upon them with the savagery of wolves stacking ship. The wolf also means a spiritual enemy, the devil. Elsewhere, scripture calls him lion, scorpion, and serpent. The Lord tells us that the devil catches them a man, making him his prey by influ influencing him to devil, and scatters his soul by, conf by confusing him with sinful suggestions. The Nidic wolf acts like a thief who steals his victim by instilling evil thoughts in him, kills by smothering his conscience in order to gain his ascent, and destroys by prompting weak deeds. When an evil thought assails a man, his soul has been stolen. When he gives his ascent to it, he has been slain. When he commits the evil deed, he has been destroyed. This is meaning of the fifth comes not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. The Lord does just the opposite. He gives us divine life. He illuminates our minds with good thoughts. He sanctifies our bodies with good deeds. And he bestows something more. The parch benefit others by the grace of teaching and as the reward for so doing the kingdom of heaven. Truly, he is the good shepherd and not a hireling, as were the rulers of the Jews. They cared nothing for the people and sought only to steal their wages. Their one desire was to amass filthy lucre. Chapter Chapter 10, verses 14 through 16. I am the good shepherd and know my own and am known by mine. As the Father knoweth me, even so know I the Father, and I lay down my life for a ship, and the other ship and other ship I have which are not of this fold. Them also I must bring, and they shall hear my voice, and there shall be one fold and one shepherd. Explanation Here's another way to distinguish the shepherd from the hireling. The hireling does not know the sheep because he rarely visits them. The Lord, the Good Shepherd, knows his sheep because he is with them constantly. They is turn know him. They in turn know him and, blessed by his care, recognize him as their ever present guardian. Notice the sequence of Christ's declarations and how he must know us before we can know him. It is impossible to know God unless we are known by Him. Christ first united Himself for us, united Himself to us in the flesh when He became man. Only then could we be united to Him by grace and become God-like by Thesis. To show that believers alone are worthy to be known by God and that unbelievers cannot be His ship, the Lord states clearly, I know my own and am known by mine. Confirming this, the apostle writes, The Lord knows them that are his. That's any one thing that he knows them only as one man knows another. Jesus adds, As the Father knows me, even so know I the Father. Glory to your Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.